Welcome to our J Crazy News Headlines and a special Thursday evening those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. If you have observed closely, you see how crime has actually increased in a matter of days. Have you seen where one parish alone, St. Catherine, has spiraled out of control? Not to mention the parish of St. James, the whole Montego Bay surrounding to be exact. Lilliput, etc., etc. Now, Mr. Commissioner, you are the one, you know, who came out and said, or persons who are close to you came out and put up a post that crime is down by 15%. Mr. Commissioner, sir, with all due respect, I believe that you are senile. I believe you're not thinking straight. And I believe the job as Commissioner of Police is not fitting to you, sir. Because, sir, with all due respect, crime and violence, bloodshed, mayhem is out of control. It is spiraling out of control, sir. Spanish Town alone is evident to be out of control. Killings all over Spanish Town. People are getting murdered in Spain Town, left, right, and center. Yet crime is down by 15%. In a matter of three weeks, we have close to a hundred murders, my viewers. In a matter of three weeks, we have close to a hundred murders. It almost reached a hundred murders. July alone, June into July, we have almost reached a hundred murders. Yet crime and violence is down by 15%. No, Mr. Commissioner, crime and violence is higher this year than last year. Every year it climbs more. So the scenario or narrative that crime is down by 15% is an act of deception. It is not facts. Crime has risen. Crime is out of control. Now we head towards Lilliput in St. James, where last night two brothers were shot and killed and their house that they live in was set ablaze by criminal elements. Now dead is 16-year-old Neil Samuels and 22-year-old Gregory Forbes of Lilliput in the parish of St. James. Now this happened in Long Bay in Lilliput, St. James. Now, based on information, residents of the two brothers heard loud explosions after which they saw a large fire come from the house that the two brothers live in. Now, a second round of gunfire was heard by relatives close to the two brothers, after which the gunmen made good their escape. Now, the police and the fire brigade were caught to the scene. Now, after cooling operation, the two brothers were seen lying face down with multiple gunshot wounds. Now, this double murder had one main target and that is Gregory Forbes. Unfortunately, his brother, 16-year-old Neil Samuels, was caught in this brutal double murder. Now, I'm going to say this to each and everyone watching this video right now. You can know when persons of this generation are criminal elements or they are aspiring to be a criminal element. Now you see this whole gun pose thing that get the youths are doing now, taking pictures, having their gun pose left, right and center, cock off and catchy hat with them gun poles, these little youths who do these frequent gun pose pictures, they're involved in criminal activities. 
or they are aspiring to be a criminal element. This whole gun pose taking photo tells a lot about the individual who is in the photo. Yes, it does. It tells a lot of the person who is in the photo. No, I mean, I said that Gregory Forbes was involved in any criminal activities, but I would not be surprised if he was involved in criminal activities in Lilliput and surrounding areas of St. James. Now, in the parish of St. James, the Belgrade Avenue era of Greenwood in the parish of St. James, these two criminal elements were seized by the police for stealing a motor vehicle yesterday afternoon. Now, exactly 12.50 p.m. in the Greenwood era, the owner of a motor vehicle realized the in vehicle gone. Now, he called the police, you know, and the police assist in tracking the motor vehicle at a location. Now when the police came on the scene, they saw three men with stolen motor vehicle items such as license plates. Now the three men tried to run. One got away but two, you see on the screen right now, were arrested and charged by the police. Now we head towards Portmore to be exact in St. Catherine where PMP councillor of the South Borough Division who is Ainsley Perkins was shot and killed in South Borough to be exact by criminal elements. Now to be honest with you, to the family condolences yes, but I'm not surprised of this killing. I saw it coming. I saw it coming from months ago. One of the reasons why I saw it coming months ago because Ainsley Perkins was heavily accused of being the mastermind behind the killing of JLP councillor Lennox Hines. I repeat, PMP councillor Ainsley Perkins was heavily accused to be the mastermind behind the brutal murder of JLP councillor Lennox Hines. Now, I'm going to say this. Ainsley Perkins came out and said, I am innocent. When it comes down to the murder of Lennox Hines, I am not involved in it. But I'm going to say this to you, my viewers and other persons who are listening far and wide. You see, in Jamaica, Jamaica is a risky place for politicians, senators, councillors, you name it. One of the most fatal error an MP or a councillor can make is becoming friends with criminal elements in the community that you're responsible for. I repeat, one of the most fatal errors that you can make as a counselor and as an MP become besties with criminals. Ainsley Perkins was in the streets too much. So the thugs don't get used to him and he became very vulnerable as a counselor. Now I'm not saying that he was killed because of Lennox Hines' murder. Could be, I'm just saying. But it could have been that he and a gangster or a gang leader had fall out. Or he and a little man in the streets had a fall out. So therefore, death was his punishment. Or could it be that somebody wanted him out to get his position? I'm just saying. These are the case scenarios. Now, I tell you, you know. That every MP and every councillor with a JLP and PNP, they know the criminal elements in their constituencies. And sometimes or most times, they are besties with the criminal elements.
whether you're a counselor or an MP, stop be too common. Ainsley Perkins was too common. So therefore, he was taken out so easily, you know, because he was in the streets too much, being familiar with residents and youth on the street corner, being too common as a counselor. So his killers calculated his move. Now he was in the South Bar era conducting estimates of projects he had going on when he was killed by armed gunmen. Now, remember, you know, election had come up, local government election, and Ainsley Perkins was a strong candidate for the PNP party. Now, security forces, which is Joint Anti Gang Task Force, have been doing a raid operation in Thaispen, are known as Thais Meadows, searching for one of the eight escapees who escaped from the Black River Police Lockup, who is Demar Williams, otherwise called Demon or Kai Kai or Baby Killer. Now, other men are in custody as well. Now, as you know, you know residents are going to always stage protests in these volatile areas. As I said before, you know, most of the violence in Spain town right now, it has come from Thai Spain, aka Thai Meadows. Yeah, man, Thai Spain is responsible, one of the communities responsible for the non stop bloodshed in Spanish town right now, the war to be exact. Now, to the security forces, congrats. Keep doing your job. Don't care who want to talk, but do your operation. Continue to press to get rid of these criminal elements because they are destroying the beautiful Spanish town. This is Jay Crazy News once again. Until then, have a blessed and safe Thursday evening. Yeah man, I'm here as a black legend. I'm here represent for Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. Jay Crazy not play when him a review the thing them. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. Jay Crazy not play when him a review the thing them. Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy